Good afternoon. Thanks for joining in. I'm Matt Dell from Pinnacle Investment Management, the distribution partner for Antipodes Partners. The initial public offer for the Antipodes Global Investment Company is currently open and remains so until the 30th of September 2016. I wanted to spend a few minutes today talking about the benefits of listed investment companies, or LICs, and providing some details about the Antipodes Global Investment Company. Let me start by providing some background on LICs. The first ASX LIC was listed in 1923, and there are currently 78 LICs trading today, managing 28.5 billion Australian dollars. The market cap of LICs has grown by 11.4% over the last five years, and the average dollar invested is trading at a 1% premium to net tangible assets. Now, this spike in popularity has been supported by FOFA and the continuing emergence of self-managed super funds. And strangely, the composition of ASX LICs is about 85% Australian equities and only 9% global equities. The Antipodes Global Investment Company will partly address this as it invests in a portfolio of global equities. Turning now to the benefits of LICs, a LIC portfolio manager is able to focus on maximising long-term investment performance and consistent, fully franked income because the company is not exposed to inflows and outflows and is able to earn a compound return from retained earnings. It's also a tax-paying entity that is incentivised to maximise post-tax performance, including franking credits, and consistent, fully franked income. The board is investor-friendly as there are no customers nor employees. I'd now like to provide a few brief details about the Antipodes Global Investment Company. The underlying investment strategy for the Antipodes Global Investment Company will replicate the successful Antipodes Global Fund with the exception that the base fees will be at 10 basis points lower than for the equivalent fund. The offer is currently open and will remain so until 30 September, with broker firm offers closing a week earlier on the 23rd of September. Each share will be issued at $1.10 and will come with an option exercisable in October 2018 at $1.10. The options will have their own ASX code and will trade separately. The offer seeks to raise uh, up to $330 million, with the minimum of $100 million having already been reached as of the 5th of September. So, um, but it is important to note that the offer is still open. The syndicate is a large syndicate with NAB acting as lead arranger and our corporate advisor is Seed Partnerships. The shares will start trading on the 18th of October 2016. And finally, the Antipodes Global Investment Company has been issued with recommended ratings by both Lonsec and Zenith, the two leading research houses in Australia. Turning to the board, and it is majority independent with a lot of industry and LIC experience. Our chairman, Jonathan Trollope, chairs several LICs managed by Wilson Asset Management. He's supported by the very highly regarded Chris Cuff and Lorraine Behrens. The non-independent directors are Alex Illenfeld and Andrew Findlay from Pinnacle Investment Management. And this is important because Pinnacle provides all the non-investment related services, leaving the Antipodes team to purely focus on managing investments. And we think that the, the reason that we've been able to attract such a high caliber, caliber board and such a large syndicate is the strength and track record of the Antipodes investment team. Antipodes is a high conviction manager of global equities with a specific focus on capital preservation. It was founded in 2015 by Jacob Mitchell, who was previously the Deputy Chief Investment Officer of Platinum Asset Management, where he spent 14 years. At the time of his departure from Platinum in 2014, Jacob was managing approximately $3.5 billion, and his track record of managing the Platinum Unhedged Fund and the Platinum Japan Fund over several years resulted in excess returns of 5.7% 5. 5. per annum and 9.9% .9 per annum respectively after fees. 
The stated objective for Antipodes is to achieve above market returns for below market risk. And in the 13 months from inception to 31 July 2016, I'm pleased to say that this has been achieved. And in fact, the existing Antipodes Global Fund achieved the number two ranking in the Morningstar survey for the year ended 30 June 2016. Well, that concludes today's presentation. If you would like further information about the Antipodes Global Investment Company or about Antipodes generally, please contact a member of the Pinnacle distribution team. Thank you for your attention and have a good day.